In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint Chaos Warriors for Hero Quest or Warhammer. This particular color scheme is based off of Black Legion Chaos Space Marines. The first step is to prime the gray miniature with black primer. If you missed some spots like I did, fill those in with Abaddon Black to hide the remaining gray. Next, Lead Belcher went on the blade of the axe and both sides of the chainmail in between the legs. To learn sand gave the horns their distinct color. Then I used this copper paint to give color to the ball between the horns. Some people cut those off their models, but I think I like the look of that metallic ball. To paint the glove I used XV88 for two of the knights and Dryad Bark for the other two. For now I moved on to the base. First, I coated the base in PVA glue and spread it around. Then I sprinkled on these small stones and dipped the base in fine sand to fill in the gaps. Once that dried, I used a wet brush to try and clean the feet enough to paint them. For some reason, I decided that the gold trim should be done first. Just like my old Black Legion tutorial, Balthazar Gold was my gold of choice. I looked at the completed knight as a reference, and intentionally left some of the edges untouched to add another color later. The boots were then painted with some Rhinox hide with some Mornfang brown over top. I maybe should have done the step before putting the sand on the base, but it wasn't too difficult. I dry brushed Gorther brown onto the glove with an old brush to make it more noticeable. If you mess up at any time during this process, simply layer on more Abaddon Black. Currently, I'm fixing the shoulder pad after being sloppy with the gold trim. Then, the breastplate was painted with Warplock Bronze. This gives it a nice dark shine. Even though it's also on the boots, Mornfang Brown was used on the axe handle. Now that the wooden handle is done, it will be easy to paint the cloth wrapping at the bottom with the administrative grey. I used Lead Belcher once again to paint the metal piece below the cloth wrapping and the buckler near the left shoulder pad. Next came Eshin Grey which was put onto the right side shoulder decoration. Screaming Skull brought out the detail of the skull in front of the grey backdrop. Something that makes this miniature really stand out is the glowing eyes. I used Cyberite Green and a small brush to get it in approximately the right position. Then Gorther Brown was used for the straps of the leg armor and for the strap of the skull decoration. This next step you can barely see, and in fact I forgot it on the first of these knights. Warplock Bronze was painted onto where the horns join the helmet. If you wanted this to stand out more, a lighter metallic such as Lib Belcher should be put on instead. After that, I used Thunderhawk Blue as an edge highlight, but due to the width of the lines, it also serves as a very cool accent color alongside the gold trim. It went on multiple edges, so it'll also show the other knight as a reference to show where that color went. I nearly forgot that there was also a belt around the waist, so I painted that with XV88. Next is a part that I love doing, the shade. For this model, I used Seraphim Sepia and gave the entire thing, including the base, a heavy coat of it. I used a clean brush to take a little out of the eye area. I also put on a little Agrax Earthshade to darken certain parts. To paint blood on the axe, I used Corn Red like always. But once I finished that, I did something special. With a small brush, I added bloody fingerprints down the helmet FN2187 style. Along with that, blood also went on other random places of the night. The final step seems rather mundane now, and it's simply to color the edges of the base black to match the others in the set. 
and here is the completed product. These both turned out really well and have the dark look to match their sculpts. Now I have two guards for this boss door I made not long ago. Thank you everyone so much for watching this painting tutorial. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub because it really helps me out. Next time I'll probably be painting the Barbarian. See you in my next video. Goodbye.